This is video 10 in our series on Consider Different Problems in Fourier Analysis. In this video, we want to finish our problem in finding the Fourier expansion for this function. Specifically, what we need to do at this point is determine the coefficient B sub n. And notice what we have again one function times another function. Um, a lot of times that means that we're being set up to integrate by parts. But here we have one trig function times another trig function. And sometimes we have different identities that can help us out. And indeed is the case here. Remember that the cosine of a minus b is this formula. Cosine a, cosine b. If this sign is minus, that's plus sine a sine b. And the cosine of a plus b, then that's the same thing except the minus sign here. Now, here we have two sine functions multiplied together. Here we have two sine functions. They're the same. So if we subtract these two, these cancel, we have this minus negative this, or two times this expression. And that's equal to the difference of these two. So here then, sine of one function times sine of another function is equal to this right here, cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b. So here we have in our integral sine of t and the sine of 2nt. So using our formula, that would be equal to 1 half cosine of t minus 2nt minus the cosine of t plus 2nt. We can factor the t out of here. So what we'll do then is in our integral for this we will substitute one half this. So now one half times two pi will have one pi. But notice that then we're going to be integrating these, which are going to give us sine expressions and the limits of the integral from zero to pi. So it looks like there's a strong likelihood that piece sub n is going to be zero. But let's just take the time and write this out and see if indeed this is the case. So we have b sub n. That's 2 over pi, and we had a 1 half outside of the expression, so we have just 1 over pi. Integral from 0 to infinity with the pi, that is meter. And we have a cosine of 1 minus 2n times t dt minus 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi with the cosine 1 plus 2n t dt. And again, these now we split the integral into two parts because we had these, and we had one half over here, and that one half times the two pi, this is one pi. Alright, so this is going to be equal to, and the integral of cosine is plus the sine, so one over pi times one minus two n times the sine of one minus 2n t t goes from 0 to pi. So clearly this is 0. And we substitute pi here for t. There's a multiple of pi at 0. But 0 went for t. Sine of 0 was 0. At 0. And certainly this is going to be 0 too. But let's just take a closer look. 
We have this times the sine 1 plus 2n t t goes from 0 to 5 and this will be 0 to substitute the pi here, a multiple of pi, that's 0 it's 0 n for t, sine of 0 is 0 so indeed b sub n comes out to be equal to 0 so what we've accumulated so far then Well, first of all, our formula, our expansion formula, f of t equals a0 plus the sum n equals 1 to infinity a sub n cosine 2nt. And since b sub n is 0, we'll just stop right there. A0 then came out to be equal to 2 divided by pi. And A sub n, we determined that to be 4 divided by pi times 1 minus 4m squared. So, f of t equals 2 over pi. Plus, here then we're going to have n equal 1 to infinity, and a sub n is 4 over pi. We can take the 4 over pi to the outside here. We have 1 over 1 minus 4 n squared times the cosine 2nt. And that's it. If we want, we can factor the 2 pi out. So 2 pi times 1 plus 2 times our expression. Our infinite expression. 1 over 1 minus 4n squared times the cosine 2nt. Okay, so that is how we would express this function in a four-way series. Now come back to us for the next video. We're going to consider another one of these types of uh, four-wave rectifier type functions. Only this time when we use the four-way expansion, we use the exponential form to say the trigonometric form. So come back, transfer that video, and let's try and solve some more problems.